guys, welcome back to our video. FNAF22 here with our video, and in today's video, I have your Chapter 3 Season 4 gameplay review. As you can see, there's a bunch of challenges and even some Cypher PK challenges, but in today, we're just going to be playing no build in the new season. Sorry that this video is a little short, it's supposed to be about 13 minutes, but two minutes of it got messed up, so it kind of does end like on a cliffhanger, so I'm so sorry about that. But, um, yeah, so here we are dropping for the very first time, and honestly, even though the Battle Pass is kind of doo-doo this season, I do like the gameplay. It's pretty fun. We're dropping in these chrome towers. It's Hurlda, aka, like, the main alien chick. It's her base, and look, you can literally walk through the chrome walls. It's so sick. There's a bunch of new weapons that you guys will see later on in the video. And yeah, all the chests and ammo boxes and everything is chrome, but you do have to wait. It kind of takes a minute, like a literal minute, to go through the chrome stuff. And look, there's even a chrome tornado, which I do go in later in the video, so just keep watching to see that. By the way, this Paradigm skin looks so vibrant in-game, I think it looks amazing. But here I am, just stalking my prey, trying to find this juicy boy as I go through the wall. And you take no fall damage when you go through the wall, which is... Very good. And here we go, going through some walls, gonna dash around. And where is this boy? Gonna get that ammo box, that chrome ammo box. So yeah, let's get that chrome ammo box. And then let's look for this boy. Got some gold here. Ooh, shockwaves. And look, I will say though, there is a lot of cool new places on the map. There's at least four or five new POIs, which is really good. Oh, yep, shockwave, and right through the wall. That was such a good timing. Let's get that chest. Ooh! And there's some new guns, which you'll see um, later in the match, of course. Later in the matches. There's like three or four different matches in this one game. And then look, I found Harold, uh, a.k.a. the alien chick. She's a boss with some kind of mythic AR, so I was going at her with the harpoon gun. At first, I shot her with that new shotgun. If you guys saw, it's like a chrome shotgun. And in my first game, I got obliterated by a boss with a mythic chrome AR. So then I decided to drop somewhere else, and this game made me really mad, because you guys will see it in a little bit, but this game actually kicked me, and I made it to the final 10 with like 7 eliminations. So this game makes me very upset, but some pretty overall good gameplay. And we're gonna land here in this random like wood slash like... I don't know how to explain it, like Townsville area kinda. So we're gonna drop here on the zip line because there's a chest right there. And this is called the uh, Fort Jonesy. So we're here at a fort now and we got this chest and just gonna get all those goods. It looks like they brought back the suppressed SMG and the rapid fire SMG, so pretty cool. And yeah, then I found these chrome splashes, which as you can see, turn you chrome, they heal you. And if you dash with them, you turn into this chrome, bl chrome blob. I think that's so cool. Then you can dash in the air. It only breaks off when you get shot, but I think it does explode. So it kind of hurts you when people shoot you. Like it does extra damage. Very cool though. I like it a lot. And you can still ride zip lines. You can open chests, ammo boxes. Very, very cool. Then you can take it off, take it on. Look at this really cool kill. I'm about to get with it. Oh, pop that boy off. And ooh, get him. Get destroyed by that suppressed SMG bozo <laughs> but i really do like that new chrome splash feature i think it's very very cool and there's other ways to get it which you'll see later in the video but yeah there's just some random cuts here for when i'm not doing anything entertaining i'll just cut it until i get to a fight or something cool you know just a bunch of different stuff so yeah honestly this season is pretty fun though i'm not gonna lie if you haven't tried it out yet i definitely suggest you give it a try it's it's pretty fun i would say so far it's a little bit funner than last season because last season just wasn't that fun in my opinion but we found another guy around this little like house area so i was looking for him and he was just chilling right there so i just blasted him felt like he had a lot of health but whatever he got demolished anyways and then there's this dude here and even when i was lagging i still bl obliterated this kid with my ar so yeah, I'm already at three kills maybe in the first 10 minutes of the game, just absolutely destroying this round. 10, 15 minutes, I'd say, actually, but whatever. Also, sorry if my voice sounds a little weird. I do think I'm getting a little bit of a cold, so sorry about that. 
Um, but yeah, then I kind of just went around, got another footstep sensor, because I played with the sensors on, and that meant somebody else was around this house area. Talked to, a uh, big thick boy Jonesy, and then, yeah, I decided to look around for this guy, you know, kind of just looting. Not really much to get. I really wish they added the pump or the tack bag. They did add a new shotgun and brought back some old ones, but they still haven't added the tack or the pump back, which kind of sucks, but it's okay. So then I went around and I decided, I was like, you know what? I don't want to go inside the chrome tornado and see what it does. So I'm going to go inside this chrome tornado to show you guys what it does. So I decided to head to the chrome tornado. As you can see here, I'm in my little chrome blob. And here we go. Going towards it, all this like area is chrome wise, all the trees are chrome and stuff. I broke out of the chrome. Or and get back in it. And then it just sucks you up like a normal tornado. I, I was expecting something different, but no, it just acts like a normal tornado what helps you deploy your glider and stuff. It actually does give you chrome. I found out later on, I don't know if that clip got corrupted or not, because like two almost three minutes got corrupted. So, yeah, I decided to land at the foundation legs, but anyways, and try to go inside this door. But besides that, yeah, I don't know if it shows, but it does give you chrome. I already had it, though, so that's why it didn't give me anything, so I thought the tornadoes were useless. But they actually let you deploy a glider, and they give you chrome, as you can see here. I don't know if you saw, but, like, right before I touched it, I didn't have chrome, and now I did. But now we're going to be heading over to this little area over here, which looks like it's like a chrome forest. It looks really, really cool, so that's why I decided to head over here, and I saw, and there was a chest on this bridge. Just decided to loot up, you know, get over there, get some dubs. And yeah, I found this chrome AR, which as you can see is like halfway chrome, and it kept leveling up, like it kept becoming more chrome and chrome. And then we had this, which is called Deploy a Bunker. It gives you a whole bunker to use. It's supposed to be like the other deploy things which it's pretty cool i mean it's kind of small but i just decided to throw it down and test it out but it was perfect timing because there was like two enemies right here so i just threw them down to test it out and it was perfect like i said but yeah they're, they're not bad honestly but i just decided to rush this guy i was like i ain't messing around i'm just gonna destroy this kid and this is at the point where i think i had five or six kills decided to try to chrome the enemy and see what happened it just heals them and gives them the chrome effect so don't use the splashes on the enemies just Use them on yourself, okay? So yeah, now I'm just looting, because there's not really much to do, getting this purple bolt action. Sadly, I think they took the heavy snipes out again. And then yeah, my game crashed. So this is where we are now, um, in our like third or fourth game. And we're going to the dead uh, forest now, the reality tree. Uh, the reality forest, it's now all dead. So yeah, I decided to go here. And this round is very quick, which you will see in a second. I was just, you know, healing up, getting all those shields inside of the tree. Also, if you land there, I guess that's how you start your paradise challenges. I didn't even honestly notice until rewatching this and voicing it over. But yeah, as you can see here, I saw a kid down there and I decided to try to hit him. I dinked him for, I think, 17. And then I tried to run and jump off the tree and land in the water. And yeah, let's not talk about that. Let's just, let's just regard that. Okay, fourth game on. Then I landed over here, which is where the Daily Bugle used to be, and now there's a flying boat. And yeah, I just decided to land over here and see what was going on. So here we go. Landed over here on the zip line, went down it, talked to Blackheart, or whatever his name is. And yeah, leveled up a little bit, got some shields. Not really much to say is going on. You can pretty much see what's going on, so I'm just kind of talking. But um, yeah. Went up here to see what this does, and it throws you up into the air, which is pretty cool, so it's kind of like a launch pad, and I just used it to get to the lower areas of the boat. Almost missed that. <laughs> Got me some guns, like always, just gonna destroy some kids over here. And yeah, pretty much nothing really else going on, just, I found this key which um, is to vault, so it looks like you don't need two people to open vaults anymore, now you need keys, which is pretty cool. And um, I don't know if that's in here, but I had a clip of me getting in a vault, so I don't know if that's in here or not, so if it's not, I'm very sorry. But I went down to this vault, and it needed two keys! And I only had one, obviously, so I couldn't get into the vault, sadly. But like I said, there is other vaults that only need one key, but I don't think that clip's in here, because I think it got corrupted, but... 
Still gonna get this out for you guys because I still wanted to upload this video for you guys. Just like the, because the Battle Pass one was already late. But yeah, just going through, searching around. Saw, a, I heard it, like I saw the footsteps of a guy in here. And you can still shoot them while they're going through the wall. If you didn't notice, I dinked him for like 93, even though he was halfway through the wall. So yeah, and then this other kid tried to come in. I absolutely obliterated him too. Just clapped both of their cheeks. I was just vibing, bro. And then I got in this fight over here that I decided to start recording. And this is sadly where the clip cuts. I literally dink this guy for all of his health. So he goes to run and hide. He's like one shot. So I decided to rush him. And of course, this is where the clip cuts. So I'm just saying, hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, hit the bell. So you'll always be notified when I see you guys in another video. And then, yeah, I just literally charge this guy with my shotgun and destroy him. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Sorry this was short. Deuces!